Lucy may represent an animal that is still alive. Peking man was used for years as evidence for evolution. Everything disappeared during World War II. But they found a cave with a bunch of crushed monkey skulls in there. The skull had been smashed, and they found a bunch of human tools. And so some brilliant scientist said, wow, these monkeys are learning to make tools. Oh, and they're practicing on their head. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Let's keep that one right over here. Well, duh. They didn't tell anybody. They found 10 normal humans in the same cave, skeletons of humans. See, in some cultures, they like to eat monkey brains. You ever seen Indiana Jones? Mm -hmm. They just found a cave where they were eating monkeys. That's where they had their feasts or something. It's not a missing link. Homo erectus is still in the textbooks. Homo erectus used to be called Java man. Then they changed it to Pithecanthropus erectus and now called Homo erectus. It was found by Dr. Dubois, a Dutch anatomist, who went to Indonesia purposely to try to find missing links. He hired a bunch of prison convicts to go dig for him. He wasn't even there when they found it. What they found was an ape's skull cap, three human teeth, and a thigh bone found a year later, 50 feet away. Dubois, Dubois put them all together and said, we have a missing link here. You don't even know those animal bones go together. Three teeth, thigh bone, and a skull cap from an ape. This was also going to be used in 1925 as evidence for evolution at the Scopes Monkey Trial. The Java Man. The famous anatomist uh, Virchow said, in my opinion, this creature is, a, is an animal, a giant gibbon. In fact, the thigh bone has not the slightest connection with the skull. Dubois hid the fact that he found two human skulls in the same area. He put those under his bed, under the floor. Like Edgar Allan Poe, you know, telltale heart, only this was telltale head. But there's no evidence of how man evolved at all. Fossil evidence for evolution for uh, humans is fragmentary. Fossil evidence of chimpanzee evolution is absent altogether. There is no evidence of how chimpanzees evolved. But yet you have articles in the magazines all the time, you know, about evolution. Where are we going? I can tell you that. You're going straight to hell if you don't accept Christ. It's real simple. That's a no-brainer. In Skull, they were going to have a big display of the orc man, O-R-C-E, o -R -C -E, the orc man. They were going to put the, have a big you know, party for the orc man they discovered until they discovered it's actually a piece of a skull fragment from a donkey four months old. That was going to be the missing link. A dolphin's rib had been labeled as human collarbone in the museum for a long time. So somebody said, oh, that's a dolphin's rib. That's not a human collarbone. The Hobbit was just found here in 19, or 2004. The Hobbit was a little bitty, tiny human, probably a result of uh, secondary microcephaly dwarfism. Just a normal human, about three and a half feet tall. There are people like that today running around the planet. Okay? There's a good book on the so-called cavemen, if you want to read this, if you're being taught this in school. Get the book by Marvin Lubinow, Bones of Contention. Excellent book. It'll really put everything into perspective for you. The only missing link I can find is up between these guys' ears. You know, something is missing. Somebody's professors spend all their free time digging in the dirt looking for bones. My dog does the same thing. But we don't make the taxpayers pay his salary while he...